So today I'm going to show you how to run an Android emulator on your MacBook or Windows. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see here, I'm on the Android Studio website. I will put the link in the description. So we're going to click on download Android Studio. And since I have a MacBook with the Apple chip, I'm going to choose that one. And then the download will start. I'll see you when the download is done. Okay, so the download has finished. So we're just going to select it in our downloads or wherever your uh, downloaded uh, things go. So we're going to open that. And so if you're on Windows, it's probably going to be a .exe file. But since I'm on Mac, all I have to do is drag it to the Applications folder. Now, um, just uh, wait for it. This should be pretty fast. Yes, okay, then um, find your apps, and sh it might take some time, yep, there, and you have Android Studio, so click um, open, and let me drag it to here, okay, okay, so then you'll find this S a missing SDK, um, you need to download your SDK for the emulator to work so we're just going to click this and um yeah just uh, you don't have to download um android tiramisu oh wait you have to okay yeah and then just click next and then next and ac accept the terms and conditions and the download will start i'll see you when it's done okay so the download has finished so we're just going to click finish now we're going to go to more actions and virtual device manager so i have these two already here let me just delete them so i can show you okay so click create device and you can choose any you want but if you want a Play Store, you have to select these ones with the Play Store icons. So just if you want a Play Store, just follow what I did. So I'm going to check. I'm going to choose a Play Store compatible device and click Next. Now, these if you selected a, um, an Android com a Play Store compatible one, all these recommended ones should uh, all support um play store so i'm just going to do this one at the top and hit download and again this should take some time so i'll see you when it's done okay so it has finished downloading we're going to click finish and then click next now you can name it whatever you want and choose the startup um or orientation and if you want to change the storage and all these other set settings, just click Show Advanced Settings. Um, unfortunately, the settings that are grayed out, you cannot change. However, I just want to give this a bit more a storage. And then click Finish. Next, just click this play icon to launch your emulator. This might take some time depending on how fast your computer is, of course. And it should open up in a separate window. Yes, it has opened up here. And just give it a few seconds to turn on. And you can see the Google logo. So just a few things to keep in mind. Um, you don't get to go through the full setup process it just comes like automatically set up um yeah and also sometimes you can't change the ram if you chose like a play store compatible one so if we go into settings it will say about emulated device so it like knows it's an emulated device and these are the things. This a phone number. This is just like a fake phone number. You can't call it. It's just, you know, to like 
test with um so yeah this is not my phone number if you guys are trying to call me but yes and yeah that's it really um it may be a bit laggy and for play store and stuff you have to sign in with your google account but that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you later bye Thank you.